Good day, grade 7 students, and to my fellow technical drawing teachers. My name is Sir Raffi, and welcome to my technical drawing class for grade 7. So, our topic for today is about alphabet of lines. Let's start with the borderline. Borderline, this is generally the heaviest and darkest line in a drawing. Ito yung pinakamakabalan. Usually, ito yung nagsiset ng boundaries sa ating mga drawing paper. Ito yung nasa gilid na line. Again, this is the heaviest and the darkest line in a drawing, which is the borderline. The next one is the visible line. This line is also known as object line. Ito yung usually na uh, line na nagpapakita ng mga visible edges. Medyo manipis lang siya unlike the border line. Again, visible line. This line is also known as object line. Next, hidden line. It represented by a medium weight dash used to show the hidden or invisible edges of an object. So, ano nga ba ang itsula na? Hidden line. Okay? Again, it is used to show the hidden or the invisible edges. Mga edges na hindi nakikita. Ito ang nire-represent niyang line. Ang hidden line. Next is extension line. Extension line indicates the limit of a dimension line. Nabanggit natin si dimension line. Ang dimension line, ito siya. Usually, partner siya ng extension line. Yung kulay blue. Yung may arrowheads at may numerical value o yung pinakasukat. Ang tawag dyan ay dimension line. Ano naman yung naglilimit kay dimension line? Dyan papasok si extension line. Yung color red. Okay? Laging magkasama yan. Si dimension line, siya yung nagbibigay ng uh, numerical value or nung pinakasukat at usually meron itong arrowheads. Ang naglilimit sa kanya, kung hanggang saan lang yung arrowheads, ay ang extension line. Next line is cutting plane line. It is used to show where a section has been taken. Usually, ang cutting plane line, ginagamit natin ito kapag may portion tayo sa drawing na ikakat. So, ayan yung pinaka-representation ni cutting plane line. Usually, ito ay may thick lines. Again, it is used to show where a section has been taken. And that is cutting plane line. Next, Long break line. It is used to limit the presentation of a longer or bigger object. Ano ang itsura ng long break line? Yan. Ito naman ay para sa mga object o mga drawing ng object na mahahaba. Siya yung naglilimit. Ang tawag natin dito ay long break line. Limit the presentation of a longer or bigger object. Next is center line. Center line, it is used to show the center in holes of circular object or shape. Ayan, ang itsula ng center line. Manipis ang linyang ito. Ito ay may long dash, sa gitna may short dash, and another long dash. Dash. Saan po ginagamit ito? Usually, ito ay ginagamit sa mga circular object o yung mga drawing or object na may bilog. And that is center line. Next, reference line. It is an irregular fine curve line with an arrowhead at one end used to point a particular part on a drawing. Halos hawig siya ng leader line. Ang pagkakaiba nga lang nila, ito ay may irregular fine curve line. Next. Okay. So, ito yung kabuuan o yung uh, iba pang mga alphabet of lines. The first one is the border line. Pinag-aralan natin kanina. Visible line. Hidden line. Center line. 
expansion and dimension line. Again, sila ay mag-partner lagi. Si dimension line, yung may arrowheads at may numerical value. Si extension line naman ay nag-delimit kay dimension line. Okay, leader line, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. Ang pagkakaiba nila ni reference line, ang reference line ay naka-irregular fine curve line. We have also section line. Yung line na yan ay usually naka-45 degrees at maninipis din. And cutting plane line, long break line, and short break line. Okay? Let's have a review test about alphabet of lines. Okay. So, try to analyze this object or this drawing. So, may mga nakadesignate na mga numbers dyan na tinuturo kung anong ginamit ng, uh, na alphabet of lines ang nakikita nyo dun sa drawing. Nakita nyo ba yung sa number 1? Ano kaya ang alphabet of line ang ginamit dito? Sa so, number 2, ano kaya ang alphabet of line na ginamit dito? Ito yung naglilimit dun sa number 1. Number 3, ano kaya ang alphabet of line ang ginamit dito sa tingin nyo? Ito ay dumaan sa mga circular objects. Number 4, anong alphabet of line ang ginamit dito? Yung mga short dashes. Number 5, ano kaya ang alphabet of line ang ginamit dito? Number 6, Ano kaya ang alphabet of line ang ginamit dito? Number 7. Ano sa tingin nyo ang alphabet of line ang ginamit dito? Number 8. Ano kaya ang alphabet of line na ginamit dito? And number 9. Ano sa tingin nyo ang ginamit na alphabet of line? Alright, let's try the answer for number one. The answer is dimension line. Bakit dimension line? Kasi nakita natin na may numerical value, may measurement, and then may arrowheads. Number two, ito yung nagsiset ng limit kay dimension line. The answer is extension line. Number three, dumaan sa mga circular holes. The answer is center line. How about number 4? Short dashes. Napakita niya yung mga invisible or hidden edges. The answer is hidden line. How about number 5? What do you think is the answer? The answer is short break line. Number 6. Okay, the answer is section line. How about number 7? Pinakita niya yung mga visible edges. The answer is visible line. How about number 8? The answer is leader line. The last number. The answer is cutting plane line. How's your score? Is it perfect score? If not, you can rewatch and review this video para makuha natin yung perfect answer. And that's it for today. Salamat sa pakikinig grade 7 and good luck sa inyong magiging exam.